Hello, this is Linda Bustos from Get Elastic, and I'm wishing you a very happy Prime Day today. Uh, we're, today we're going to talk about some crazy, wild Amazon patents that could, if they do see the light of day, forever transform logistics and fulfillment as we know it, and possibly turn our urban centers into a very uh, futuristic world. So I'm going to cover my top five today. If you want to get all 12 of these crazy wacky patents, go check out the Get Elastic article. The link is in the description. But my top favorite is the, uh, the Airborne Fulfillment Center. And I like to call this the Fed Zeppelin. It's a 45,000 foot in the air blimp that's totally equipped with packages and temperature controlled drones and it can move from place to place and uh, one of their main use cases is to station these um, these blimps near like stadiums and events and festivals I don't know maybe protests so that they can deliver food and beverages and other things that you want to place an order and get immediately and um, and yeah and just send out their little drones and maybe deliver your hot dog right to your seat. <laughs> The second patent that I think is just wild and crazy, but actually kind of genius, is a parachute-enabled shipping label. Yes, so the parachute is embedded into the shipping label, deploys when it's dropped from a drone. It has sensors inside so it can kind of navigate around objects and understand, communicate with the drone about weather conditions and all those kinds of things. Can understand the contents of the package, like if it's an electronics, it's a smartphone or something, know where the position inside the box is at every time through like accelerometer technology and safely guide the package to the ground. Uh, one thing with drones is they take a lot of energy to uh, descend and to send back up. So having some kind of a mechanism that can guide the package to the ground in a nice soft landing, uh, they've patented it. Uh, another one is the beehive. So you think about, okay, if they're not in the blimp, where do these drones live? And a lot of um, warehouse development centers right now are like on the outskirts of town in large warehouses. But if you want to get that quick last mile delivery, you've got to have something like a drone airport in the middle of town. So a structure that's built really, really high, multi-level uh, packages stored all there, and, and the drones can just fly in, pick it up, fly out. So that's the beehive. Now, the beehive, I think, is going to face a lot of resistance from the not-in-my-backyard types. So don't worry, Amazon's already thought that through. They've gone El Chapo style with a patent for a subterranean delivery network that's got conveyor belts, it's got pneumatic tubing, which is, you know, that air sucking and suck it right up into the building, possibly right into your home. So yeah, if you can't go on street, can't go in the air, they're going to go underground. And then um, finally... Finally, uh, robot roommates. So <laughs> if that didn't, if the uh, pneumatic tubing and the sucking didn't uh, already make you think of Jetsons enough, a robot roommate that lives in your house, it's purely there to, uh, to be alerted when the Amazon delivery truck is in town and can scurry out and go pick up your packages. I can just picture it like the ice cream truck, all the little house robots coming in, coming in, picking up their packages and scurrying back to apartments and businesses and any uh, complexes, individual houses. And uh, also that they, that they would uh, live in your house and maybe catch a drone if a drone is coming outside and you're not home. Why leave it on the doorstep? Have your little robot go out and retrieve it. So those are my top five favorites. Um, I'd like to know what you think about how this might impact not only you as a consumer, but you as a business person. Because I could totally see um, if they get this these patents in place and actually start bringing them to market, that this could disrupt things like traditional third-party logistics and delivery systems to where um, you know other other companies now have to tap into Amazon's infrastructure and then all roads lead back to daddy Amazon at the end of the day so whether you're a retailer um, or a third-party logistics you're gonna have to use that network in some way um, to get that very quick delivery and as Amazon sets the standard for very quick delivery um, how could that change consumers expectations but I'd love to hear what you think. Please check out the uh, article if you're interested and subscribe to get Elastic for more. I will see you in the next video.